Having a larger facility with more high-tech equipment will help the CPSC be more efficient and productive in testing products, products that could pose a danger to consumers. I'd like to welcome you to the Outdoor Power Sports uh, Testing Laboratory. This laboratory is equipped with data acquisition equipment as well as this uh, tilt table built into the floor where we perform the parking brake test that is part of the uh, standard. As you can see, the vehicle on the left uh, continues to move. The standard says that uh, the vehicle should be able to uh, maintain its position on this slope facing both uh, downhill forwards and backwards uh, for five minutes uh, without failing and clearly the, the one on the left does not pass that test. This is a cyclic testing lab. Uh, what we do here is we simulate the lifetime of use for cribs, for example, uh, by running them through our crib shaker test, crib impactor test, side rail impact test, and then our slat test. And combined, these simulate a lifetime of use uh, by a typical child out in the field. This is the Durable Children's Product Testing Area. We have the Toy Lab also over here, and what I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Walker Stair Test. And what we're looking for are skid pads on the underside of the baby walker. Right now there's only casters on it. There should be um, rubber pads here so that when it falls over the stairs, it stops short and doesn't tumble. The velocity of the 8-pound weight falling will create a set speed that we know a child can achieve. So. so obviously if it had the skid pads on it, it would have stopped short and it wouldn't have gone over the edge. This is the impact testing area and what we're looking for here are any small parts or sharp edges that break off during the impacting. Uh, depending on how old the child is, depends on how high we'll drop it from. Pretty simple test, but we're going to take it down so that it breaks one of the laser beams, but not both. That would be too far. That would be outside the regulation. And, and again, if we get any small parts or sharp edges out of that, that's a failure. You are in the, the bike helmet impact lab, and here we test helmets. This particular test uh, raises up the helmet so that it reaches an impact velocity of approximately 11 to 14 miles an hour, and that is roughly comparable to uh, a lot of bicycle helmet impacts and injuries. This is an important test because it ensures that uh, bike helmets uh, comply with the federal regulations. And in this particular example, like I've got in my hand, on the outside, looks very, very similar to anything else that you would see in the marketplace, and yet it broke. So that's why we test. This is the CPSC Flammability Laboratory. We have the capability of evaluating mattresses, mattress pads, and children's sleepwear to the federal regulations. In this new lab space, we have a special burn room that is capable of handling larger scale fires. The room is instrumented with a special hood that can measure the heat release from the fire below. This is an example of the children's sleepwear test. The sample is hung in the test cabinet. Small flame is held for three seconds to the bottom edge. It's a vertical ignition. Once the specimen is ignited, it's allowed to burn until completion. As you can see from this example, large flames burning vigorously. It would not give a child the opportunity to react very quickly, and therefore this sample fails the test. We're here in the chemistry lab of the CPSC and we test children's products for lead and paint and plastics. We're testing using x-ray fluorescence and that's something we do uh, with the same instruments at our ports of entry. We also have another special kind of XRF called an HDXRF which we can use to measure lead and paint down to 0.009% which is the regulatory limit. One of the other things we do in the chemistry lab is test for phthalates. Um, we have a brand new instrument called the Direct Analysis in Real-Time Mass Spectrometer. Um, it's a real advantage for testing for phthalates. Uh, traditional testing requires a lot of sample preparation. Uh, we have to cut the sample up, uh, dissolve it in some harsh organic solvents. Uh, we run instruments, their run times can be anywhere from 20 minutes to half hour. Uh, but this direct analysis instrument allows us to put the sample in without any sample preparation. We can just take a quick glass tube, 
uh, rub it on top of the sample to get some of the material off uh, and put it into the instrument. Hot gas runs over the sample and brings it into the instrument and the instrument actually measures the mass of the different molecules that enter. We can look at the printout, get an idea of what molecules are in there, um, and then we get a quick yes or no answer, are there phthalates? The CPSC stands for safety and this state-of-the-art facility is a testament to our renewed commitment in keeping families safe.